Hi guys, welcome back to school. And if you're just now entering the university, welcome to Came Young. This is a great place to be, and this is a great time in your life. And hopefully these classes will make it even more fun than it's going to be anyway. So enjoy these classes. If you're not enjoying it, you're missing half of the fun. The material is extremely important. But you will understand the material better if you like what we're talking about. So be prepared to participate, ask questions, make comments. Be a part of this class in every way possible. This class meets on either Monday or Tuesday, and all four of my classes, I have four classes this semester, meet the second time each week on Thursdays. Thursday is a very busy week for me, but I know every day is busy for you, so I'm not looking for sympathy, but I am looking forward to seeing you. And so, how will we see each other? We'll see each other in three ways. Number one, on Mondays and Tuesdays, we will meet face to face if you want. You don't have to. Last semester, not very many people met me face to face, but I want to give that to you as an option if you want to meet face to face in our classroom at Shattuck Hall. I will be there on Mondays and Tuesdays. On Thursdays, however, it will be strictly on Zoom. And even on Mondays and Tuesdays, we will have class on Zoom as well. So while we're meeting face to face, I'll have my phone or iPad or something, taking pictures so that we have Zoom class at the same time. And most of you will attend on Zoom. That takes care of face-to-face -face and Zoom. Zoom will be the workhorse of this semester. We'll use that for all of our classes this semester. And in fact, when I take attendance, I won't take attendance based upon our face-to-face -face meetings but upon your participation in Zoom classes. So make sure you attend on Zoom. That's where the attendance is going to be counted. Attendance doesn't really matter to me. If you don't come to my classes, if you don't attend all the time, that's okay. It doesn't hurt me. <laughs> my life goes on. And if you find something that's more important, then you're an adult. Take care of things that are more important. However, it will affect your grade. If you don't attend well, you cannot get the highest scores. A's and A pluses come to those people who attend most or all, most or all of my classes. If you cannot, or if you do not, don't worry about it. You're not offending me. However, you cannot get the highest grade. Otherwise, grades are based specifically on exam performance. It's more important to me that you perform well, especially if you're going to become a lawyer or a judge or a police officer. I want you to know what you're doing when you come to arrest me. <laughs> Material is extremely important. So that's highest priority, except <coughs> that there is a requirement that you attend. So, Zoom meetings for all classes. Opportunity to meet face-to-face -face on Mondays and Tuesdays if you're available. In addition, for each or most classes, I will have a YouTube video, like this one. And the YouTube video is going to have all the essential information that you need to remember from that class or that week. It's not going to be required. You don't have to watch the YouTube videos. You don't have to respond, but it's highly recommended. Zoom class, of course, is going to be important, but you'll fall asleep during those Zoom classes. I know it. I was a student once too, right? Hundreds and hundreds of years ago when I was young. <laughs> YouTube, however, is going to be very valuable for your study because it's going to state in 15 minutes or less everything that you need to remember from that class. To make it useful for you to attend and watch the YouTube videos, I will shorten our Zoom classes just a little bit 
so I don't take more of your time than you're signing up for. All right, you won't be wasting any time by watching Zoom classes, I promise. So watch Zoom, watch YouTube for extra, very important information face-to-face -face on Mondays and Tuesdays, if possible. Not required face-to-face, -face, but you might enjoy it. I know I will enjoy it. Because especially after wearing a mask for this whole pandemic time, this coronavirus, this ridiculous time where we've covered our face, I can't wait to see you face-to-face. -face. I love Korea, mostly because I love the faces of the men and women who are here. That's you. And I can't wait to see you again. I don't want to see masks. I want to see you. I'll see you on Zoom. I'll be able to shake your hand or give you a fist bump in face-to-face -face meetings on Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, this particular YouTube uh, video you can find on Edward System, and that'll be the same for every every class. I'll always up, upload the link to the YouTube video to our Edward um, class website on the Edward system uh, so that you can uh, watch these. Cliff's Notes, all right? We call them Cliff's Notes. It's basically just stating in a short summary everything that we talked about in Zoom or face-to-face. -face. All right. If you haven't seen the syllabus, you can find the syllabus for each of your each of your classes um, on the Edward system. And the syllabus for our classes is on the Edward system as well. So you can get my personal information. You can get a general idea of the types of things that we're going to be talking about from week to week. But we won't stick to that schedule. I guarantee it. Because we learn best when we're curious about something. When we ask questions when we make a statement and we get into a dialogue, a discussion. And so our classes are always going to follow our discussions, even if it takes us off point. We'll eventually get them back to our point and we'll get back on track. But we're going to take what we call in English tangents. In other words, we'll get off the beaten path, we'll get off the track quite often. And that's how we're going to discuss our ideas for each one of these classes. The other thing that's going to take us off track is that we're going to making be making all of our classes very practical. We're going to put them in the context of current events, riots, or crimes, or public policies, or ethical issues that come up in the real world in Korea and in America. As we discuss those things, then we'll take the psychological ideas or the ethical ideas or the criminological ideas or the management ideas and see how those ideas work in those specific situations. So that should make it kind of fun and extremely practical. And we'll see how it works in real life. Yeah. Let's see. Grades, attendance. Oh, textbook. You notice that you don't have to pick up a text. You don't have to buy a book. There's a reason for that. Because since we're going to be following current events, since we're going to be discussing everything in English, I don't want to give you a whole bunch of reading in English for you to have to wade through and slog through saying under your breath, I hate Patterson. You might hate me anyway by the end of this class, but you'll hate me for different reasons. I'm not going to give you too many things to read. I'll give you links to YouTube videos or to websites that are on um, the internet, like Simply Psychology, a great website that we're going to be using a lot in Psychology of Crime class. Right? I'll give you those things as you need to read them. Beyond that, you're not going to have to buy anything. I will provide you the information that you need to read as you need to read it. So don't worry about getting ready and missing anything by not having a text. The text are, is the websites and the material that I will give you from time to time. This week is syllabus week. 
right? And handing out the syllabus, discussing the format for our class. So I'm not going to get into the details, the substance of this class yet, because many of you will change classes. You may leave. Other people may come into this class by the end of this week. So they're going to miss something if I get into too much detail. And you're just getting your feet wet. We say you're getting your feet wet. That means if you go swimming and you want to test the water to see if uh, it's cold or hot. <clears throat> so if your body is going to be too shocked if you jump into that cold water, you'll dip your toe in there to test the waters. And maybe to get your body ready for you to jump in all together, you might sit on the side of the pool and put your feet in the water. <clears throat> That's getting your feet wet. It's preparing yourself for the immersion into the water that is to come. Well, think of that as a metaphor for what we're going to be doing. Right now, we're just going to get your feet wet into some of the subject that we're going to be discussing for the rest of this semester in each of these four different classes. And so, to get your feet wet, I'm going to have you do only one assignment, and that is to figure out what is your highest value. Now, some of you have been in some of my other classes, and you'll notice that I discuss values in almost all of my classes. That is because when we figure out what our highest value is, then we figure out why our life is always going in that direction, because we're always going to pursue our highest value. Well, we have highest values in three areas of our lives, and those three areas are our professional ethics, right? What is most our highest value as professionals, as police officers or lawyers or judges? What are our highest values as society? What does society consider to be the, the highest value? And number three, personal. What are our highest values when it comes to why we're alive, why we do the things that we do, right? How we try to improve ourselves. Is it based upon how much money is in our wallet or bank account? Or is it based strictly upon whether we can go to sleep at night and not feel guilty? We call those morals. So we're going to be looking at morals, ethics, and laws. Ethics, the professional morals. Laws, social morals. And morals, the way we're using the term will be your personal feeling of what is right and wrong. So figure out your highest values in those three areas of your life. Personal, professional, and social. What is the highest value of Korean society? The United States is going through some serious difficulties right now. It's because we have two groups of people. Actually, we have many more groups than just those two. But one group of people says our highest values have to do with the idea that there is an ethical standard, a standard of, a standard of right and wrong. There is a God that is outside of ourselves. And the other group that says there is no God, it's only what you and I decide that our value should be. The implications of those two st stances lead us into two completely different directions. We'll discuss that more in the weeks to come. But you can see how we need to nail down what is our highest value. We need that on a personal level. We certainly need that on a professional level. And we definitely need that on a social level as well. When we understand our highest values, where we're going, then we'll understand how to use the ideas, the information that we're going to be discussing in each one of our classes this semester. So, there you go. Our assignment for this week. Nothing to turn in. Nothing to write down. You don't have to give me anything. Nothing to post. Just to think about it and discuss with your friends. Maybe over coffee. Or chimek. Right? If you have that. What is most important to you? Okay? That's it. Yeah, this is about how long the videos will, will take for each class or each week for each one of our classes. 
not long, 15 minutes, just long enough to help you to understand more of the details of what it is I want you to remember from those classes. Thanks for being here. I am glad to see you all again. All right. Take care. See you later.